You are not a mistake. You are not an accident. You were here for a reason. I know you're going through some hard times. I know life at times might feel rough or you might feel weird or things might be frustrating, but it's not gonna always be like this. Your condition is not your conclusion. I've gotta just take maybe five minutes to kind of just unpack my story so that you have an idea of who I am and why I speak with the passion that I speak with. There was a time when I was in a really dark place. You know, my mom had me when she was 16 years old. I grew up without my biological father in my life. I struggled with years for drug and alcohol abuse. And I just found myself in a really, really, really weird and dark place. I had to repeat the seventh grade and when the eighth grade came around, I'll never forget hearing at a parent-teacher conference a teacher tell my mom that I wasn't high school material. And I came to tell you that words are powerful. And when I heard that statement, I remember feeling like, wow, you know, like I am really, really a failure, you know? Like it's one thing to tell a student, hey, okay, you're about to graduate from high school, you're not college material, you're not gonna go to an Ivy League, maybe you should go to a, a, a tech school. Like I've heard that, right? Like different people have different paths. But, but how do you tell middle school kids that they're not ready for high school? Like, it affected me. And I'll never forget going that next year and uh, after a series of events, a lot of fighting, a lot of struggling, that school ended up kicking me out. They got all bent out of shape because I cut the electricity off. The next year I went to another school, got the report card at the end of the year, and because I did not do well and I did not put good in, when I got that final report card, all Fs, one C. And my mom is this tall, but when she gets mad, she turns into the hole, you know? And I'm thinking like, this is not gonna be pretty. But I came up with a plan. I said, you know what, I'm gonna change my grades. So I went to the library, I got that white out, I blocked off all the Fs in the C, I took a fancy pen and a ruler, and I put those small little dots and lines, and I gave myself all A's and two B's. Then I made a copy of it. And as soon as I got home, I gave it to my mom. She took one glance and was like, boy, where your real report card at? I said, Mom, let me explain. She said, no, no, I don't want to hear it. I know what happened. I said, you do? She said, yes, you probably lost it, how you always lose stuff, and you went to the office, and they had to make a copy of theirs on file. I said, yo, yo, you be knowing, Mama. She's like, I'm no, I'm like, you know everything. She's like, I know. But at the end of that summer, at the end of that summer when my real report card came in, it was really rough. I'll never forget like when I first tricked my mom and she saw it, she was like, I'm so proud of you. She started crying. I even got emotional. I was like, I told you mama gonna make you proud. She hugging me, I'm hugging her. We got like a breakthrough. And you're probably wondering like, Jeremy, why were you crying? Like you know you didn't really earn all A's and two B's. Well, for the first time in a long time, I didn't feel like a failure. Like I actually felt successful, like worthy, like, I felt like I was good enough, and so I, that was a bit of an emotional moment. But it wasn't real because I didn't really earn those grades. Now, when my school sent my River Park at home and my mom saw it, she was in denial. Uh-uh, my baby made A's and B's, so she called the school. I was like, ooh, hang up the phone, mama, hang up the phone. And again, she's in tears. But now, what was once tears of joy, now it's tears of sorrow, tears of pain, tears of frustration. And she's trying to figure out, like, I wish my baby would just get it together and I was so hurt, but I felt stuck. I was depressed. I was tired, I was struggling. I felt like I was an accident. Like, what's the purpose of life? Like, why am I here? You know, I felt like I wasn't, I couldn't fit in. When it was time to read, I didn't want to read because somebody was going to tease me because I wasn't a good reader. We was always getting the fights, people was bullying me. Then there was a time when I was the bully, like, I just struggled and I was like, what's the point of it all? And my mom's a great mom, so she moved me to another school. So now I'm at, I'm at the school now called Huntsville High. This is my third school for the ninth grade. Now I'm at this new school, and I don't know how to explain it to you, but I got a group of teachers, I felt like they were weird. They were saying stuff like, Jeremy, we believe in you. I'm like, me? One teacher's like, oh yeah, Jeremy Anderson, I'm taught my man, ah, this is gonna be the best year ever. I'm like, okay. One teacher, I had to ask him, I was like, wait a second, y'all are way too enthusiastic. Did y'all get my transcripts? Like, y'all got the right Jeremy? They was like, yep, we got the right Jeremy, but you're in a new season now. So you don't have to worry about the past. I was like, yeah, but you do know about last year. Yep, 
I said, you know, this is my third school day. It's like, we're not worried about that again, Jeremy. You're in a new season now. So let's not bring old things into a new season. And they began to speak life to me. They began to encourage me. They began to affirm me. And because I was young and I was immature, I kind of felt like, well, you don't really understand my story. You don't come from where I come from. And I try to build a wall up. But you know what knocked that wall down? It's love. You know what knocked that wall down? It was perseverance.